This is the plaintiff, Chuck Court. He says he hired the defendant to do extensive landscaping in his backyard, gave him the deposit, then got nothing in return. That's right. The defendant took his money, showed him a few samples of some fake grass, never completed a design schematic, and he lost faith in his ability. Now the louse won't return his $3,000, and he's here suing for every penny of it. This is the defendant, Nigel. He says he's been a landscape designer for 33 years. He submitted 11 drawings to the plaintiff, which consisted of a pond, an irrigation system, gazebo, and a fence, and gave the guy a start date. Then, out of the blue, the plaintiff tells him he changed his mind and hired another landscaper. Huh? He worked very hard for this persnickety plaintiff, and he's not returning any money. And if anyone's owed today, it's him. He's accused of lousy landscaping. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $5,000 for lost wages. All parties, please use your right hand. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, in. All right, Mr. Court, you wanted a beautiful design for the back of your brownstone located where, Brooklyn? Yes. Okay. And in general, what was the design going to encompass? So it was a standard brownstone lot, um, you know, 45 by 18. So the plan was to have a deck out at the back of it with a arbor, a pergola. Um, and a pergola a, meaning like a structure yeah, that, that yeah, vines lattice. grow on? And yes. The, okay. Yes. But then that was going to lead into the um, garden, which was going to have plants and rocks and, and trees uh, and, uh, and trees a, and, and a little and river and, 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 and a, a little, little it's not a river, it, really, exactly. a little water feature. Yes, a water feature in the center of it. Okay, so this is a big deal. And uh, yeah, yeah. Well, but for most of us, spending sixty thousand dollars on their backyard is a big deal. This was a sixty thousand dollar plan. Yes. Okay. Now I have pictures of the. Is this the brownstone? So that's looking at the back of the brownstone, and you'll see it's currently it's just a concrete slab. It's just a rectangle. Yes. All right, so it's the one on the right hand side with the with the mat with the yes, rugs, exactly, right? The concrete slab. Okay. So you call Nigel and you ask him to come over, and you charge one hundred and fifty dollars for that visit. I did. You okay. Know. What was one hundred and fifty four? For, I asked him for a plan, a proposal. What's his initial idea, his sketch? Yes. All right. Do we have what he showed you for that 150 while he's sitting there? I guess he's just drawing it while he's in front of you? Uh, no, he sent it to me subsequently. Okay. So let's take a look at that and let's see how much we can agree on. All right. Based on that, you liked what you saw <laughs> yes. and you end up hiring him. You have a design fee of how much? It was 4500 retainer fee. So $4,500. For All right. Yes. And you actually drafted a contract. And the contract was for how much? The contract was for the 4500 retainer fee, and I signed the contract. OK. Did you also sign a contract for the actual work we're talking about? No, because we never reached that point. OK. So now tell me why. I know that you bailed. You said, um, I can't work with you. So it's your burden when you come into this courtroom to prove to me by a preponderance of the evidence that you had good reason to bail. So tell me what happened. So we signed the contract in early uh, October 2017. Um, I sent it back to him on October 7th. And um, so then from that date forward, I was continually following up with him to get detail, you know, when are we going to get together, what's going to be happening. Uh, the first design I got from him following uh, the contract signing was in February. Okay. So in February of 2017, we got together and he showed me his first, uh, what do you call, preliminary. Um, do you have that drawing with you yes, here? Yes, I do. So this is what he calls the concept sketch. So the first one we saw was the preliminary sketch, and this was four months after signing the contract. Is this accurate that this is what the two of you, what you handed him in February? Let me show it to you. Thank you. Yeah, these are reduced um, copies of three alternative concepts for his backyard. OK, show me the uh, everything that you handed him in February. Show me the three alternative concepts. I have this copy for you, Your Honor, and this is my what own is personal that? copy. That's a concept sketch, meaning it's a preliminary idea for the layout of, um, of the plaintiff's right. garden. Right, when did you hand him that? Uh, there's a date on here. February 6th, OK. February 6th. Uh, there were three. As I say, I okay. didn't just do one copy. I made three 
versions of a garden design to give him okay, plenty so of options. Okay, so let me see the other two versions. Okay, so they're here. Um, these are not finished plans. These are yes, concepts. I know. So, I know. So, uh, so this is another sketch, which um, the originals were in color, of course. For the wait, 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 stop. The originals are in color. I am the judge. I'd like to see the originals of what you gave him. Yes, absolutely. Right. The, so the, who has them? You the mean pla the plaintiff? They're okay, he just has a little reduced copy. Do you have something else to show me that's not that little reduced copy? I have the full ones. Where is it? They're at home. Those they're at are... home. You're suing for this, but you left those at home because this looks a lot chintzier, right? They... This looks like you shouldn't pay forty-five hundred dollars. So you left the actual plans he gave you at home. Got it. Mental note. Go on. Uh, we exchanged many emails and met on numerous occasions to discuss which direction he wanted to go in. Okay, so he I, ends up picking a plan, and the yes. plan he ends up picking is the one that was most like the original drawing that you that you did. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. So he ends up picking the way he wants to go. Yes. And the two of you decide tentatively, because you didn't sign a contract for the work, that you're going to start the work on July 1st? It was July 6th, um, which was the date at uh, which the plaintiff expected his tenants to leave. They were what happens between vacate. February and July? Let me ask you first. So the February diagram has no details on it. If you look at that picture, I have a, a screenshot of it here as well, which is in color, but it has no uh, detail. There's no, we don't know the rail, how long is the rail going to be, what's it made out of, the arbor, how tall, how wide, what wood. So I, I re so this is the first sketch following the signing of the contract. So I said, yes, I picked the one that was closest to the yeah, original one. Do you one. think he's going to put all that when he's still giving you options of which way to go? I don't expect I, no, no, that no, I, one yes. to have measurements and all that. Yes, I, 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 I might expect later ones to have that, but not when we don't know which one it is, we're not going to go through the trouble of all yes, that measurement. You're, so you're, that's not surprising, is it? It's surprising that it took four months after signing okay, the contract. Okay, in February, you pick which one I you want. What happens after February? It took multiple emails, a lot of follow up. I didn't get anything then until four months later, at the end of June, less than two weeks before we're supposed to start the project. He delivers to me the final plan. Okay, what is it he, he delivers to you? Do you have the final plan he delivered to you, or you right have here. a little picture of it? Actually, this is this is all he sent me. Because sent, it was sent by email? It was sent by email. Okay. First show it to him. Is that what you sent him by email in June? Uh, yes, you're correct. According to you, did he send you anything other than this last thing? There was a detail on the fence. Give me anything that he gave These to you. These are the two fence diagrams that he gave me. All right. Now let me ask you, what was it you gave to him after February? We, this covers February. What else, what other work had you done in this case? Right, I sent him the breakdown of the final plan, but the discussion primarily was about details with the fence design, which is quite a large uh, item on a, a project like this. It's quite a lot of work, it's a lot of materials. We were having back and forward discussions about the material, as the plaintiff was unhappy. The kind of wood to yes, be used we, the in the fence. Yes, he was Because unhappy. you wanted to use mahogany. Yes, he, he was unhappy with my use of mahogany, which I've been using for clients for 20 years. Um, because because he, you wanted a sustainable wood. Yes. 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 And you asked him, is mahogany sustainable? He said it was. And then mahogany, turns out, is not sustainable. We believe it is sustainable because it's in, coming from plantations in but the Philippines. But it's not certified sustainable. It, you didn't want to use, what was the name of the wood? I, I, so the one that is recommended is Ipe. It's, Ipe. If and you didn't want to use Ipe because it's hard as, hard as rocks and you can't No, work. and, and it's, it's uh, for the most part, it's... Um, displacing people and, and habitats in rainforests, and I've been uh, morally against using this wood for most of my career since I've known this, because it, This it's, is a moral it's, issue? It's, it's coming, not a, it's, a woodworking issue? I thought it was no, just it's, a woodworking it's, issue. It's been taken from rainforests, which has an enormous impact on climate change, okay. as you know. Y y can I tell you what we're not gonna do? I'm not gonna decide which of you two is right on the environmental impact of your desired woods. Okay. What I am gonna do is stick to what I know, which is contracts. So you thought he was being really picky. Yes, uh, very finicky, actually, uh, extraordinarily so. Um, exceptionally, considering my experience with hundreds of clients over, over How long 30, have you been doing this? 33 years. Okay, now um, you were supposed to, to start the work in July, right? July the okay, 6th so was a start Okay, so in June, yeah. he receives plans that still do not have the plants themselves, which plants labeled. Is that late in the game or no? No, not at all, Your Honor, because the first part of the project was to get this fence built, which was the logistical issue of having the, the uh, tenants in his building uh, move out so as to give 
myself and my crew access to leave, to leave. In um, early June. Uh, sorry, at the end of June. Uh, if I may say, you So order, you couldn't um, get the fence started anyway? No, we couldn't. But the, the, the issue which the plaintiff incorrectly um, states is that I did have a finished drawing. It's here for you to see, uh, dated May 28th. It's drawing number eight. It's a finished working drawing, a construction drawing with ample detail for me to be able to make did progress. Did you ever send that to him? On the yes, of course. So when the plaintiff says that um, he didn't have a design for the fence, it was is this just a design for the fence, yes, or is it, it is. for the whole? No, it's just the fence. Okay. That, that's a working drawing from which At I can build At one point in March, forgive me, I have a habit of speaking over when I'm done listening, okay. which I know is rude, but I'm <laughs> driving this train. Yes, okay. And um, so we are here to discuss the following. You have a counterclaim against him for your lost wages, which I don't understand because you were never hired to do the big job. So I, I thought you guys had a contract for the big job, but you don't. So you don't have a right to sue for lost wages. So what the other part of why we're here, which started this lawsuit, is your lawsuit against him because you believe that you're entitled to some of his design feedback because you Correct. feel that he did not finish the design, right? Correct. OK. Now, at some point in June, you say to him, look, we can't move forward. What is it that you feel? is missing from the design before you pull out, what is it you feel was missing? So basically, everything. Welcome back to the People's Court, Harvey Levin here. So does this landscaper get some of what he was supposed to get, none of it, or all of it? I'd say some of it. Why? Well, he did some of the work, so he should get some of the pay. But he didn't do what he was fully supposed to do. If the work is quality, then he should get paid for what he did even though he didn't do all of it? Yes. Does anybody think he should get nothing because he didn't do all of the work? Do you, why? Because if I'm paying him to do a job and he doesn't do it, he doesn't deserve the money. See, that's not a bad point, going inside the courtroom. I gave you the diagram dated, uh, the drawing dated June 20th. It has no details. There's no dimensions on the, on the deck, how high the deck will be, what the deck's going to be made out of, the rail, again, how long it is, how wide it is, how deep, which, does the water run north, south? When I asked the defendant on uh, how we could proceed like this, he told me we would figure it out as we go along which that's not the way I do business. I'm not going to get myself, get him into the backyard, committing to all these materials. And right, I, I, I agree with you. I, 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 I roll like you roll. So why didn't you just send him a final version? What did you think was happening? Like, in other words, you don't say, listen, I'm not going to hire you until you finish this final version. You just say everything's on hold. Right? In June. I, That's what you say at the end. We're not starting in July. Everything's on hold. It was on and hold. And then you hear from him again when? Uh, after this contentious discussion about the fence, um, I didn't hear for quite some time. Um, the, the pressure of time, Your Honor, at that point meant that we were putting the fence on a priority. That was on the fast track. We were trying to get the fence agreed upon so that we could get through the apartment, which would have been vacated by his tenants, and get started on the fence. It's a okay, major you project. you need to understand something. So, he hired you to, to complete a design, and he doesn't yeah. want to hire you to do the fence or anything else until you complete the design. You admit that the design was not completed, right? You didn't have the measurements. You didn't have the plant labels. In other words, you got paid $4,500 for a complete design. Did you provide a complete design? Well, technically, Honestly, Your Honor, the, technically the, the answer is no. It was that's incomplete. Correct. Right. But if I may, Your Honor, um, it was a design that we agreed upon. It was missing No, no, no. Stop, the stop, 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 stop. Somebody paid you $4,500 for a complete design. Yeah. You did not provide a complete design. Now I'm left to figure out what it is that's left so that I can calculate a figure in my magic head <laughs> of what it is that was earned, OK? His, his, his job today before me is to make it look like postage stamps is all you handed him. Your job today before me is to prove to me you're entitled to the full 45, which yeah. you're not going to prove that to me. Because unless at some point in this continuum you provided him, uh, today as we stand here, do you have a drawing for his house that has all of the measurements and everything all, all plotted out and all of the labels and everything else? Well, no, Your Honor. Okay, because, all right. Because so now's the part where judge does the magic. Got it. He's come to court and asked for 3,000 of the 4,500 back. He's not going to get that. But what do you think is fair, considering that I am standing here all this time later, <laughs> and you still haven't provided him with a complete plan? Your Honor, I offered uh, the plaintiff, the, the plaintiff uh, 
or a, a written list of the plant list to go on. No, to you also needed plant. measurements for all the stuff too. Well, yes, of course. Yeah, no, but yeah. I, I, so, but yeah, we're done. I'm going to rule now. All right, someone paid you $4,500 for something you didn't deliver. You delivered a lot. You didn't deliver the full thing of the $4,500. It's simple. So I now have to decide how much what you did was worth. That's where you have left me by not completing the last several steps. You call the last several steps a mere $200. I do not. You call the last several steps $3,000. I do not. I am ordering you to return to the defendant $1,000 of the retainer and I, on your counterclaim against him, zero. That's my verdict. So the defendant will have to give some money back, a thousand bucks. Nigel, what are you, yeah. what are you thinking right now? Uh, I'm pretty disappointed, actually. It was kind of a lousy decision, I think. Um, very unfair, because I was treated very unprofessionally and uh, with a certain uh, lack of um, moral substance. Uh, I've never been treated like this in my 33-year career. Uh, I did 70 hours of work for this man, uh, which amounts to like a, a design fee of $59 an hour, which is substantially less than the national standard of about $100 an hour for design fees. Well, I understand I you're, a, you're upset. This I was a contract a issue here, though, as you understand in the court. And Unfortunately, you know, I, you can't it, prevail, and I'm sorry about that. Thank you. Thank you very, much. very much. Sorry about that. Well, he's kind of upset. I imagine you're upset, too, because you didn't get what you were seeking uh, here. At least no, I love I'm, it. I'm happy that I <clears throat> won the case. You got but, something, uh, yes. And I got something, but yeah. I still feel the, the amount that he's retaining is uh, doesn't match you up. You heard him say he did a lot, a lot with of like 70 hours. But work. the final, again, I only got two drawings in total, and the final one didn't match up with. Uh, right. with you should have brought two. the big drawings with you into court, you know? Uh, yes, I guess I could yeah, have. Probably could have. I had them All right. on the computer. Thank you very so. much. Sorry Thanks. about that. Okay. That's the way it goes. All right. Neither party's really happy here, Harvey. Okay. Well, look, uh, the way the law works is that you get paid for what you do unless there is a complete, as we call it in the law, a failure of consideration. If the guy just did a wonky job and really didn't give any value, then you give nothing. Otherwise, you can apportion it.